Hey, what's up guys? Happy Friday. Today I'm going to be talking and breaking down my $1,010 trade on ticker Netflix. Uh, 2793 is my account number. Weekly options, call contracts. That's what I'm trading. I'm showing you this to verify the profits so that you guys know that these are real trades being taken. Uh, this is not a paper trading account. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, this is the daily chart time frame for ticker Netflix. Super important guys to start your analysis on the daily chart time frame because what it do, does is allows you to see the larger areas of resistance and support. All right, so um, we're just going to simply look at where we were trading yesterday and identify that next major area of uh, resistance for us and that's going to appear to be right here at the 540 mark. Okay, I'm basing that resistance off of um, this little bit of uh, consolidation here, right? This candle and this candle and then maybe this candle back here, this wick. Um, it's pretty close to that 540 price point. So that's gonna be our resistance. Above that, where's our next level of resistance? It looks like it's up here at 550. All right, so now that we have the major areas of resistance laid out for us, we can then move into the smaller time frame, the five minute chart, and identify a proper entry. So Netflix was consolidating. I had this push up to almost 540 uh, two days ago consolidated yesterday, right? Had an inside day after that big push up. Uh, but pre-market, it got interesting because what we have here um, is an open that is very close to this 540 price point. Let's go ahead and move that down um, and, and set that trend line right at 540. So it opened up fairly close to uh, the 540 price point. I teach my traders to not trade in the first five minutes because a lot of fake outs happen. There's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, traders are entering positions for the day. Traders are exiting positions that swung the, the, uh, the ticker overnight. So the first five minute candle, we don't trade in that first, um, uh, in, that, in that time frame, all right? The second five minute candle popped up and closed over the 540 trigger level. Um, I'm gonna show you on my Discord server where I posted this uh, right here, Netflix was a long over 540. This is our, um, it's October, so this is our Halloween themed uh, watch list, but a long over 540, okay? That, that was posted this morning at 6.11 a.m. That's pre-market here on the West Coast Pacific time. So we wait for that five minute candle to close over the 540 price point. Um, once you get that close over, right, we'd never chase the move up wait for a dip entry that is the key you want to try to get the best entry possible understanding that 540 on the daily chart is a level of resistance then we should know that old resistance could validate as a new support and then continue the move up okay um, by entering as close to 540 as possible you're setting yourself up to take a trade that presents a low risk with a high reward uh, what I mean by that is that old resistance should become new support, right? We don't know if the stock's going to ever truly bounce off of uh, the price points that we identify, but all we can do is enter a trade that exposes us to the least amount of risk possible, um, keep our risk very tight, right? So if 540 fails, we just cut the trade immediately. Um, but we're presenting where we have a high reward setup because on the daily chart, remember, we had room to run to 550. Um, it didn't quite quite get there. I got about halfway there. 544 was the mark, but here's the deal. So it's also important to note that um, you can watch tickers on the five minute chart and the one minute chart or a smaller time frame, maybe the two minute chart simultaneously. So use the smaller time frames to give you uh, a better idea of an entry. At least experienced traders should be doing that while the five minute chart kind of confirms, you know, which overall direction the stock is moving. So um, today at 6.37 a.m., I posted this in my Discord server. I'm gonna be extra safe trading this Netflix play. Ideally, we want to see a break of the trigger, a close over, retest as a support, and then enter. Make sure that you have a plan, okay? All right, so let's break this down, 6.37 a.m. I'm gonna to move to the one minute chart time frame so we can see this. Uh, that was posted right here, 637. All right, so um, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. There's your five minute candle closing over. It was right here at this price point. So we got the five minute candle to close over. 
Um, this was possible entry number one, right off of this, uh, right up this point here. It would have given you some profits here, about a $2 profit margin to the top side. Um, maybe that was enough to take profits on for you, but it wasn't a, a true, unless you got you know, the entry right here at the bottom, you would have had to hold through this little bit of a fake out. Um, but this is what we were talking about. Break of the trigger, all right? So it broke over, the close over, um, that's gonna be on this candle here. Retest as a support. This is your retest. That's your true retest right there. So when it pulled back, um, tested 540 as a support, it actually broke below here um, and then bounced. So you got these two candles kind of confirming that bounce for you. Then you get that pop move up to 544. All right. So on the five minute chart time frame, you don't see all of that happening. All you see is this wick coming down and then this push up. That's why it's important guys to watch the one minute and the five minute at the same time because if you entered on the five minute, uh, if you excuse me, if you entered on this first test right here, uh, you would have maybe started to get faked out here thinking that, oh yeah, the five minute candle's not gonna close down there. But if you wait for that five minute candle to close, you'll see um, it was actually a profitable trade to begin with. So our entry was taken off this dip here for the move up to the top side there. And that is how I was able to make $1,010 profit off this trade. That's it. That's all that I have for the Netflix trade for today. Thank you guys for your time. Um, if you have any questions, write them down below in the comments and I'll get back to you. Like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I hope this video has helped and I'll see you in chat. Later.